Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to create and use the names to define the names in Excel sheet. How to define the names in Excel sheet. So let's start the tutorial. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this example, I have created one new book on Excel sheet. Right now, this book one contains sheet one only. Now, I am adding some numbers here in B2 cell 23, 56, 70, 43, 78, 25, 99, 100, 23, 5. Now, here I have added some random numbers from B2 to B11, from B2 cell to B11 cell. Now, most of the time or many of the times the selected range will use in multiple times frequently we use the selected range range in sheet 2 or sheet 3 the whole worksheet I need to work out this selected range but every time for example if I want to calculate some of the total the selected range this range in sheet 2 is equals to sum what I'll do is I'll go to sheet 1 and I'll select this cell again switch out here the formula and so here we got 507 now if I want to add maximum number again I need to go here let's select this range let's close this formula enter here we got the 100 so 100 is the highest number so every time whenever I use this formula any formula or logic I have to switch over to sheet 1 and I have selected the range so instead of doing the same thing again and again I will create one name to this range which is called the definer will defining the name to this range so let's do that one how we'll do how we'll create the names in excel sheet now let's create the names for this range from b2 to b11 go to formulas in the formulas tab notice there is a define names here click define name and the define name I'm giving some name you can give any name here I'm giving my name Charan and next one is the scope scope is if I open this uh, drop down menu I will get workbook sheet 1 sheet 2 and sheet 3 workbook is if I select workbook I can use anywhere in this workbook and also I can use the the range the defining name the defined name I can use anywhere in these sheets if you select any particular sheet for example here I have selected sheet 2 the defined name I have used uh, I can use only in sheet 2 only so now I am selecting workbook so now I can use this name anywhere in this actual worksheet now the reference this is very important step the reference is I am selecting from B2 to B11 it's a sheet 1 that's it and then scope name is a defined name is a Charan that's it now if you check the name manager here I got the name I have created now let's check here now I want to check the what is the minimum number of this range B11 to B5 in sheet 3 so what I'll do is I just go to minimum it returns the smallest number in the set of values now here I'm using instead of uh, switch over to the sheet 1 and selecting the range I just simply use notice here I got Charan here The churn is nothing but once I added churn here, the, the range is selected. See here we got 5 here. See the smallest number is 5. For example, if I use here the total number, sum is equals to 
is equals to is equals to sum now i am using the charan 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 is our name enter the total number uh, sum of this selector range is 507 now i want to add the maximum number here maximum number charan enter it's 100 the maximum number highest number is 100 only suppose here in the sheet one only i want to count how many uh, uh, cells are there so instead of uh, selecting this all i'm just using charan see here once i add charan here it's selected charan is the range from b2 to b11 enter here we've got 10 that 10 cells are there now if you want to edit this define name now now i'm adding some more numbers here 23 78 9 1 here i have added some more numbers so now i will change i will edit this a uh, name so manage name manager click that one click edit here in the name now here what i'll do is i'm selecting up to one now here i got b15 uh, cell has selected from b2 to b15 that's it click ok close it now see here we got 14 here here is the lowest number i think it's a minimum number is one if one maximum number is 100 if we add thousand here here we got thousand and this is some of the total if you want to delete this uh, defined name again go to name manager just select this one and delete are you sure you want to delete the name channel okay close see everything is gone that's it in this video tutorial I have explained how to create and use the names in excel sheet thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial